Public School Facilities Authority is a state agency uh, for New Mexico. We're organized to support all of the public school facilities in the state. We have a staff of about 50. Um, we have regional managers located all over the state looking at about 900 schools and ensuring that they are suitable to support the educational programs of our state. Our partnership with eBuilder has allowed us to be uh, more successful than we could have been otherwise. Therefore, within the country, we're looked at as a leader with how to prioritize and spend money efficiently. We worked on a vision to see what we wanted that end result to do for us and for our stakeholders and the districts and the legislatures. Uh, we saw that eBuilder uh, could possibly do multiple funding sources and we approached them as an agency. But one that would give us everything we need in one place, that would be a central repository for everything that we had so that we could track a project from educational specifications through design, construction, closeout, 11-month warranty, and final uh, financial closeout. Our capital construction program is one based on priorities. We have assets of 60 million square feet in the state of New Mexico, worth about $19.5 billion. Um, and we have to really focus on where we spend the money, what are the highest needs, and then when we have identified those and we start a construction project, we have to ensure that it's done very efficiently and very effectively. I probably run through in a quarter, three month period, four or five hundred contracts, commitments and things through eBuilder. So eBuilder saved us a lot of time and money and saving the taxpayers money. But we can move on to improve other programs and put into uh, that time and effort into improving the schools. An area that we're working on right now is the systems initiative. It dropped the facility condition index from 71% down to 35%. Um, in government, you have to be transparent, otherwise you don't have credibility. So because we have credibility, because we have success, because we use the tool of eBuilder to deliver projects on time within budget, um, those things allow the funding to be able to continue to flow to school projects. We've also been able to free up time on to, to work on particularly bad systems like roofs. The roof leaks, you lose the ceiling, you lose the structure, you lose the use of the classroom for teaching and learning. And again, there is absolutely no way to put a price on education suffering because the facility can't support the function.